In pursuing its mission, the Bureau of Land Management has confronted few challenges greater than those found on the public lands of southeastern New Mexico. Here settlers of the late 19th century encountered a fertile landscape, teeming with wildlife and spanning millions of acres of prairie. But over the next century, this landscape would change dramatically. Intensive use of the region's natural resources for livestock grazing, oil and gas production, and mineral development, along with drought and other factors, would render much of this area a virtual wasteland. In the 1980s, as the Bureau of Land Management mounted a concerted effort to restore the health of the natural environment, the agency also encountered a troubled political environment. In many ranching communities around the West, the Sagebrush Rebellion had given voice to discontent and even distrust of federal resource management agencies, including the BLM. In southern New Mexico, the agency's hopes for restoring this landscape rested on a partnership of stakeholders and the critical involvement of ranchers. That would require that someone of influence and credibility in the ranching community be willing to step forward, take a risk, and lead the way. In the early 1990s, when we obtained this uh, lease, uh, it was evident that the coverage by rough brush and white thorn uh, was so much that the ranch wouldn't pay off. BLM had a program that uh, was treating the, the land and getting rid of the brush, and we accepted it, and uh, it has turned out to be a, a very beneficial move and activity for us. The bare ground has dropped from 50% bare ground over time, it's around 12%, and this is from the mid-90s until, until now. Production has doubled 170 pounds per acre to around 370 pounds per acre. When we show these numbers, it's easy to kind of sell these ranchers on these treatments, but from the beginning, without seeing these, this, these numbers, uh, that's where Joe stepped in and really took a chance, and so now you can see that uh, it, it has paid off. I think what I see with Joe is uh, he not only has these great leadership qualities, he takes on new challenges and he also takes on risk. Joe actually uh, took a little risk with the Bureau of Land Management and if he hadn't have done that we wouldn't be where we're at today. Uh, we used to do a few thousand acres a year and I believe now because of Joe and the partnerships we do 150,000 to 200,000 acres a year and it's that kind of leadership that uh, helps us all get to where we want to get. The range improvements have paid off not only in more forage for cattle, but also in environmental services such as water conservation and wildlife habitat. We use the same land for uh, grazing and uh, recreation and everything. So uh, as you notice, this is the grassland behind us and over here to our left is uh, uh, brush that was left in our lowlands, we don't treat the bottoms, we leave that for wildlife. Uh, and we do treat the uplands, which uh, give us a better watershed holding capacity for our waters. And it benefits many different species of wildlife. Uh, and what, none of those benefit more than the antelope. Uh, the antelope, they like the wide open grasslands. And, and uh, because of the management that Mr. Stale has done here, We've been able to, working with him and the BLM and, and several other cooperatives, we've been able to actually transplant some antelope out here onto this ranch. In 1997, the BLM again turned to Joe Stell to support a plan for reducing shrubs and restoring grassland through the use of prescribed fire, a concept that had not entirely gained the confidence of the ranching community. There were three objectives, was to uh, bring fire back into the ecosystem, it was to reduce hazardous fuels, and then try and replace more grass to replace the shrubs that had invaded and make it more like the, the grassland historically. And uh, 
there was no reseeding done it was all it, it all came back naturally once we reduced the brush the grass was able to compete and uh, establish itself you know that was another time he took a risk because he didn't have to do it we could have tried to burn around it it would have made the job more difficult and we're starting to get fire back into the ecosystem Joe took the initiative on this brush control work when a lot of us were skeptical about it because we were concerned about how long is this going to last? Is this going to be a temporary fix? Is it going to be something that's going to be long lasting where it'll be cost effective? And Joe was willing to take the chance and, and he took the chance and took the initiative and did that. And <clears throat> it's just grown from there. And of course, he was always heavily involved in the soil and water conservation. He's, water conservation has been one of his pets for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of people get involved in this due to the work that Joe Stell did. In 2005, the BLM and the informal coalition of stakeholders that had been working together entered into a formal partnership under the banner of Restore New Mexico. We're out here at Washington Ranch. It's a, basically an oasis in the middle of the desert. We're just a little bit up the road from Joe Stell's ranch. We've collaborated in some brush control in and around the area, also some uh, noxious weed treatments on the Black River, which is where Washington Ranch is basically in the middle of. These organizations, for the first time that I know of, work together with ranchers, with mm -hmm. federal agencies, with state, state agencies, mm -hmm. and it's just been a wonderful program, and Joe Stale's been a big part of it. He was willing to take the risk of um, working with right. all of the federal agency. Lots of good water conservation and soil conservation, and it has just been remarkable with Joe being a, such an example to all the area ranchers. And you can look at his ranch and, and see the, the good work that's been done. Yes, it's been tra so. transformed from a primarily a woody invasive species to a grassland. Right. We bring probably a dozen tours of Restore New Mexico through this area and inevitably on every trip we end up stopping at Joe's Ranch as the last stop and the reason we do that is because everybody wants to know when they see the one year and the three year and the five year old treatments what are they going to look like in 15 or 20 years so we stop at Joe's Ranch to show them with good stewardship they'll look as good in 15 years as they do in two years. On a day when the Bureau of Land Management and many friends and partners gathered to honor Joe Stell, the chambers of the United States Senate also rang out with tribute to Joe, presented by New Mexico's senators and read to Joe by their staff. Being a steward of any resource is a large responsibility, and all of us must do our part to hand over to succeeding generations the resource we cherish. Joe Stell not only understands, but practices that, and we are all the richer for it. A no-nonsense public servant who asked tough questions, restored the landscape of New Mexico, and changed the way government agencies and ranching communities worked together to improve the land. Then Governor Richardson referred to him as Mr. Water. Joe Stell's conservation work will always remind us that a commitment to the land and environment is powerful. Joe, we, we love you. you. We appreciate you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, Linda. That's beautiful. You got to surround yourself with good people, hardworking people, sincere people, to get a job done. And this is what has happened. We've had coordination between the federal government, NRCS, soil and water conservation and individual owners of private property. I very humbly accept this award on behalf of you people because you're really the secret to what has happened and what's going to happen in the future. Joe Stell's story is, above all, a story of relationships and partnerships. I'm so glad that we moved out here. We enjoy the country and especially the work that the BLM has done and Joe's worked for water issues and I'm glad he's my husband.
I've had a good partner for over 60 years, and I appreciate her and the way she's brought our children up. We've also been associated with a lot of good people all of our life, and those good people have led us in the direction that we've, we're in, and uh, although we're heading down the western slope, I wouldn't change any of it. The Bureau of Land Management is proud to present its 2011 Rangeland Stewardship Award to New Mexico rancher and conservationist Joe Amstel, Jr.